like, just dead time. How dare these teams talk about what? <clears throat> oh my God, I'm... why? Why can't they just do it at the minute and a half you have before rune spawn? Because that's an extra the rune no, you know, time. You know, you know what we should actually do? Actually, after draft, the game should automatically pause for five minutes, you know? So every okay, team can go to the so bathroom if they need, you know, strategize. Let's just, you know, and actually make it 10 minutes. That way, the, the let's strategy make it is, let's, yeah, let's let Ritsu make the rules. At just every game's paused for 45 minutes. Oh, I tried to burp again. Something. Sorry. Right. So Weaver, he is running mid. He's going to place a ward. And then just run away, get out of there in time. Flight is the same thing. So both teams have that middle ward. So much blood. Why do you? What's good? Nothing, nothing. Just a little something. Like I was looking at this top ward fly place. Why not place it a little bit higher so it sees over the trees? So at nighttime it actually sees like if they smoke and they're coming from the left side. It's, it's a little thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it Grant, sees around are that you tree. Serious? What? Wards have the same vision at all times. No, no, I'm. Yes, that's not. What are you? Do you understand what I'm saying, though? You. Say, why are you talking about nighttime? It doesn't matter. Yeah, nighttime or daytime. That's what I'm saying. The if like if they smoke gank from that river and they go around that tree, they won't pop until like the ward won't see him. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. Oh yeah, yeah. you have a good point there. I mean, it's a little thing. It probably won't matter at all. But it's, you know, I, that's why I almost didn't say it. Now you just try to make me feel dumb. I'm never gonna talk again. Oh, well, uh, one reason is because they have Zeus, right? So maybe he's afraid of Zeus. You know, bolting, scouting bolt, right? And uh, killing the, the ward. So he placed either it either way. No, it's so far back. You would not bolt around there. Pretty, like that ward is so far back. But maybe one of the reasons why he placed like. Great, you gotta use your brain at all facets, you know. Facets, yeah. Do you use your faucet still, or you do have one of the, like, the... You get your water from the refrigerator. Uh, we'd have water delivered here. Fancy. My la -di da sorry, Jesus. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of Are you also. serious? Yeah. Why? Because I want fresh water. I don't okay, want no bad. tap water. I don't want no refrigerator water. Like, <laughs> I mean, come on, we're not savages here, Green Grant. <laughs> Well, bottom lane, this is the lane I think EG wanted, right? Bloodseeker up against Void, which means top lane is Weaver against TB. And it feels like the Marquis gonna have a rough time, right? With the low HP, like Sakuchi eats through him, these fire spirits eat through him. He has high armor, but this lane isn't really that high physical damage. And it looks like, yeah, never mind. They don't want it that way, because Artizi just TP bottom. He's out. So I guess they didn't want it. They want the Bloodseeker versus the Weaver. Oop. Oh, Arteezy. Oh, my goodness. Misses a big CS. Now meta does get popped. We will see damage coming out. Fear eating it. One more hit. Doesn't get it off. Eternal Envy's Ogre. I believe he is... Did he win any games with Ogre yesterday? He went 0-2 and when we watched, right? Yeah, he went 0-2 and we watched. And uh, I don't know if he picked it again and won. Well, look at the rotation already. Bottom snaking comes right back down. We saw this, uh, I casted game one of Lithium versus uh, NIP, and it was the same thing. They they rotate like 10 different times. Snaking is eating it though. He has no Sakuchi, that's a first blood. Someone got cocky with their level one Sakuchi, and that, as you talked about yesterday, right? Sakuchi at level one, two, even three feels so bad. That's how long the cooldown is. Yep, you have to be really careful with how you use it. You can't play too aggressive as level one or low. I think most people, right, they, they use it to get range creep CS yeah, seems to be the, the biggest thing at level one. It's a coochie. Oh, it's nice on stun there by well, now reflections here. Crit with the body block. Is there a possibility to kill? Nope, too high armor. Damn. Here comes Nate. There's a Sakuchi used again. Doesn't even hit Arteezy with it. That's a lot of mana. I'm really surprised. He does bring a Sage's mask. Top lane. S4 versus Fear. Middle lane, we haven't talked about it at all, my bad. It looks like they're they're actually both going... Look at this respect. Huh. Neither one's going to be a scumbag and stay... They're both going to heal the exact same... That's actually crazy. That's crazy. I've never... I actually don't think I've seen that before. Going back, man, the same exact... Burying yourself. I get it. It's right at the three-minute mark, right? Now. That's actually funny. Look at middle lane. It's just chill. It looks like it's actually going in favor of Sumail, though. 
Yeah, you should have more is, creeps. Range creeps gonna die before he gets back. Oh, oh but the uphill, the uphill misses. Woo! Oh my, he's got a dragon slate. <laughs> oh, they both get it. Okay, okay. Oh, he gets double right there. That that's big. He actually just gets a full free experience and now fly in a lot of trouble just getting right click. S4 though will help him out a little. So only one kill coming down bottom in a the lane I actually would say has the least chance of a kill if it's not Arteezy dying. But good stuns by crit, obviously. Do you... How often do you play support? Like, nowadays, not that often? Not that often, but I play it enough to... Like, I think I play enough to play enough to understand. Oh, he misses the carapace on the Sakuchi too late. Do you, has it been a while since... Have you played Nyx since you couldn't target a stun? I don't know how long ago yeah, it's been. Yeah, I've... That's been forever ago. Yeah, I've played Nyx a few since then. Radiance middle tower is under attack. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's hard. Landing Nyx stuns is definitely a skill that a lot of people don't value. And it, it should be. I remember in, in, in Dota 1 in-house, right, everyone just had 200 ping. You picked people who could hit Sand King and Nyx Assassin stuns. That was it. Bottom lane. Arteezy does have the stick. Will be fine. Toss out some damage on Eternal Envy, but he's got 5.6 regen. Now 5.7 without a Tango. Damn. That is... That's actually insane. That's better than some fifth, like 10 and 15 talents. Ogre just has it. Thanks. It's easy fearing himself regen though, so should be okay. Ooh, and this is, this is a new EG. Someone besides Sumail allowed to use the chicken. Oh, the range creep doesn't miss uphill. That's the scariest thing. When you Dragon Slave level three, and it's uphill, like he could have just missed and it would have been denied. That's a range creep gone. He's going back to, looks like, Hit up the shrine. Is anyone gonna come with him? No, fly. This is gonna be. That's a lot of bounty runes here for Dire. Oh, is there gonna give. Oh, true. Limp. No, won't take it. A Snake King. So sorry, I just stuttered a lot. Snake King will just go there. He has his own bottle now. And he didn't go a bottle yesterday, right? Who, Snake King? Yeah, weren't you a little bit upset about yeah, this? He didn't game go he bottle. Did. But yeah, I think once you play Weaver a bit, you like begin to understand that you just have insane regen problems early game. Oh, and Arteezy. Bottle solves it. He has four stick charges, not many. Snake King, Sakuchi, and two thinks about it. He has ten stick charges in a bottle. The man's got regen. Middle, Sumail just getting bold. And here's the problem. You see, Sumail can definitely out CS Zeus, but once you get these high level of bolts, you just get melted. Oh, and here it is. It's a one. Who gets the rune? Who gets it? It's Sumail. Damn. Bottom, That's they're ganked though really hard. Arteez didn't bring himself to He brought Tango so he can dive. Crit does have a stun up. He's not even gonna try to use it, it looks like. He gets a, oh my god, the illusion blocks and then the double stun by Crit. That Snake might have saved Arteezy. No, Limp will get it. Looked like Snake King was making sure he wasn't hiding. So Limp will just pop it. And now Sumail, yep, they knew he was coming down bottom. So you might see Dyer back up. He is just shrining, but he has a haste. So yeah, Dyer, I'm really surprised they're not playing more careful, but they don't have to because he's running middle. Damn, it feels like Limp. Limp has Sumail's number so far. This, not yeah, this, I, I mean, gonna, just overall the series. I was just gonna bring that up. He's playing so well. Like this, their CS is even, and this is Alina, right? Alina's like a lean dominator. Sumail only has two denies. I'm just not letting him deny at all. So good, because right, that's that's the one thing Zeus can't deny. That's what makes him so big. So you should always die, like dominate him somewhat on the boards, but Limp playing well. And look at he just makes sure always stays out of range of the dragon slave, never gets hit by it. And always gets the range creep. It's a clinic. Bottom though. But you have reflection coming out. Not doing too much. Will harass. Uh oh. Stun with the bugs on him. Arteezy. You might be in a little bit of. I mean, he's just dead. There's no way you're getting out of here, right? Looks like we have him going down. Stun will fly. Crit though. You, you're a Nyx assassin. Oh. And he's ahead of him. So Sakuchi won't hit the carapace. And another kill here. Or the dire side. They're up two to one. Like he's going for it. Lagunas, he needs at least one more hit, I think. And he gets it off. Barely. Mason, thanks for that. Yep, no problem, Green Grant. And there you go. We just talked about it. He got stunned one time under the tower. And look at middle middle lane just going to change so much now. He's level eight. He's going to have... You still go phase boots, right, on Lena middle? Like, middle all the time. Yep. And look at this. It's not only that, it's the tower. He is melting it with level two fiery soul. Oh, but bottom lane, Eternal Envy will steal the Arcane Rune from him. Now 
he will get stunned. Raindrop tanks up. That'll be that. Or wait, Eternal Envy? I'm not really sure what that was. Just chilling around. 10 minute rune. Are you expecting a big 10 minute rune fight? Top or bottom? Um. Because there wasn't anything at 5. But uh, these two teams both love runes. I think both sides are going to get their rune top uh, later. Fear is going to try to TP away. He'll make it. That's one way to counter a rupture. Time walk, TP, no stuns. Yeah, both safe laners getting handled. Like, RTZ is just jungling a level 4. The S4 and Snaking are both having kind of pretty much free. It, it, if, if you are in this position, though, right, you'd rather be the Terrible than the Void. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you don't want to be this Void. Yeah, this is really sad. Because he can't jungle. He doesn't have that option. I mean, he can, he can go for it, but it's not going to be as fast as Terrible. We talk about right. We I always talk about like global prem. Whoa, I'm sorry, I'm looking at middle lane. Eternal Envy is actually is chasing our teeth. What? Oh, they see that war. They see oh that. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Eternal Envy. That's a uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Radiant <laughs> <Chris> <laughs> six at nine minutes. Yeah, he is. He gets the stun. Here comes Sumail. We'll get the stun as well. Dragon Slave and the right clicks. Give Sumail the kill. Crit. He knows what he's doing. I get. He just he just runs the creeps at time. And he still places the ward. Oh. Yeah, I mean uh. I don't see a sentry on the courier though, so a little confusing. Maybe I mean honestly, it looked like he was just chasing Arteezy, right? Do you think they were just like, oh, he's just that crazy? He just wants to scare Arteezy. It could be something like that. Maybe I saw two pings though, so we'll see if they get a sentry. Or have you ever seen a team they know there's a ward there, so they intentionally bait one guy? I've actually I've always thought about doing that. I haven't really seen it like put to use. Not that word, but other words, yeah. Fly goes down to Zeus, hasted. A golden thread. And now, no rune fight really, just a kill and snaking. He'll steal the rune from Sumail. Sumail, oh, thought about continuing on, but won't. Salim so does get the rune advantage there, gets a full bottle with pretty much full mana. Has mana boots, but top S4 running after Eternal Envy. And there's Eternal some low Envy people. Sa Save them. If he didn't stun Z. Here. Now he's getting some, at least he's getting at level six while S4 is doing that. It's level eight versus five right now, but at least when you get six, you, you can write TB to like any lane and maybe to Chronosphere on like Sumail, and then Zeus can kill him. You have some impact, maybe. Yeah, they have good damage inside of Chrono with uh, Weaver and Zeus, so he has, does have some options. He's gonna go bottom right now yeah, before he's awesome. level six. We'll see if he hides in the tree and gets it, probably. Middle lane, the, the ward's still there. Arteezy will now farm middle. Let's see how he does this under the tower. One hit, two hit, all right. All right, he knows what he's doing. Is he going to get this catapult? Is he going to get it? No, he... Oh, Ooh, that was skill, that was skill. That's that high skill. Yo, know, bottom there. lane. That is a lot of dire that heroes, top Mason. Top. They're, they're... Crit's dead. You dead. Oh, well, he can't... Oh, my God! What a... Crit with the straight up juice. But they're still looking. So they bolt him and he's gonna go down, but damn, crit with a, a fat juke there, but unfortunately still was goes that down. Is that a fat juke or is that a fat whip grant? I mean, I'm a positive player, mates, and I'm a. When you see Silencer get a kill, are you a plus two or a minus two? Fly, by the I'm, way, might die middle. I'm a minus two lol kind of guy. Yep, Limp will just solo kill Fly. Limp, man. Level 10. Even though he got killed by Sumail, he's still out leveling him, having a great time. And we he was out leveling him before he got the EXP game. Now he's got a regen rune, the EXP talent. Limp's Limp's on a good trajectory here. Yeah, good uh positive reinforcement trajectory line for sure. Yeah, for shizzles. Bottom now. Fear just look at how deep he's farming now. He's like, well, at least S4's not down here. Should get level four in his time walk, he will. Crit being the same level as him as you said it is a little bit uh, fearsome, but that's the thing. He just needs to hit a chrono on a, on a big target. Limp and snaking, and the phoenix will do the rest. Maybe not phoenix. He's only level five. Actually, level oh, eight. Jeez. Dude, phoenix yeah, look at five. And so is ogre. And winter wyvern's even six. So the the supports are definitely struggling on dire a lot actually, and fear. Damn. A, a big difference from last game, right? Eternal Envy and Z Freak were just popping off. Watch as we see a smoke gank come. Bloodseeker. Oh, will he get it? It's nighttime. 
Dude, going around the trees on nighttime. The stun will hit. He hits the rupture. There comes the stun. A drone be willing to stun, but he'll get silenced as well now. They might chase him. Now they won't. That's a nice kill, though. Just slows down. This, this guarantees a middle tower, right? Looks like. Uh, yeah. Lena's already so good at hitting it. It's already dead. There we go. Who gets the last? Who's getting the last hit right now? Sumail or S4? Sumail. Okay, sure. let's see. Let's see. Snaking has plans, though, of going in. He knows that they have no rupture. Sumail does get it, and you're right. Well, crit, he has invis, though. He just get an instantly pop Carapace. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't... The Carapace sure why... wear off? What? No, he got stunned on the Weaver. Not... No, the Phoenix. I thought he was oh, still I... up when he soared over him. That was weird. It wore off, though, I guess, too soon. Mason, I'm not that dumb. Damn. Jeez. Ulti okay, on I guess Zeus. Lynch just oh, dead again. He sure is, crit. Hit him with the stun, yeah, guaranteed. He even takes off another raindrop charge. Just ruining his game little by little. Now, Eternal Envy, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Th this, sorry, Mr. Level 6 Ogre. S4, after what you did to, oh. Oh, God, what is, no. Ooh. Be careful. Okay. Yeah, snaking, getting a little greedy there, and crit doesn't, that's a 50-50. He's either going around the tree or he's not, picks the wrong way. Damn, that, that was almost a giant chain feed. Yeah. Now fear. He's finally getting a little bit of room. He's almost level nine, but same with Arteezy, right? Arteezy's gotten room. He's nine and a half. They're both playing catch up, and obviously TB is a lot better at playing catch up. Do you full Yasha? Dragon. No, it's full Dragon Lance. Need the HP, obviously, especially versus Zeus and Weaver. Look yeah, at Z for him. Him. He's chilling. Can't really do anything here, though. Mason, if you could play with one person in the world, who would it be that you've never played with? Like an actual player or, or captain coach? Who's your Brokey. dream partner? Who? Brokey. Brokey, on. Right. Pretty good answer. I like playing with uh, calm people. He seems very calm. What I've heard of him, he's... Are you calm? Yeah, pretty Whoa. calm. Crit gets spotted by the, and like you, you talked about that yesterday as well. Uh, having a sentry with the Ob's War is so nice. I mean, more so versus like Marana and stuff, but versus a Nyx, it's just as good. You'll always yeah, see where good. that Nyx is going. Ah, uh, see, they know Z Freak's there now. Look at Sumail. He's waiting, anticipating like Mike Jones. I really like oh. Mike Jones. I thought oh, he was dude. good. Who? Oh? Mike Jones! Oh, snaking, chasing down Fly. He's gonna heal himself. Let the t he should have attacked the bug once, I think. Because now he's gonna eat the dead. Ah. He should still be fine. Here comes that. They have no stun, so he can TP right away. Just. He'll TP a little later, and he'll go get out. Oh! Don't move. Okay, I thought he was gonna move in the found. Snaking's smarter than that, though. Yeah, he's got a big brain. Switching off the build, he's not going Lance or Diffusal, or he's going straight up Lincoln Sphere. That's, uh, that's an old build, you don't, I mean, it went away for a reason, right? Yeah, Lincoln's is just not that great of an item anymore. They've nerfed it, uh, I gotta say, at least four times straight. They have buffed this. It's still very good versus the, you, you can't get solo killed by S4 anymore with it though, right? That's the big thing. I mean, he can pop Blood Rage on you and then use Rupture. True. You can still break it very easily with the... I mean, Lincoln still has time. its us uses, but like, rushing it on Weaver, it's just not that effective. Eternal Envy and Fear just farm the jungle together. Fear wishing he was a Terrorblade. At least he has Mask of Madness now, that definitely improves it. Woo, ulti just for scouting. They see Arteezy's doing a giant stack, but what, what's your plan against that? Don't think you have one. Are you, uh... I don't know. I, I don't know if you've done the math, but Winter Wyvern, I've actually found out leaving Arctic Burn at level 2 and getting level 4 Cold Embrace first is so much better. Why is that better? Smoke gang coming up. Dyer are Test? scanning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, sure, it's all gang, I guess. Forward. I mean, you have to do the math, Mason. That's why I just asked. No, you. I don't have to do the math. I'm not going to do it because oh, it doesn't make crit. sense. Oh, the Sentry Ward goes down, he sees crit. Oh man, Eternal man, he's got a big brain. Oh, and no Carapace there. Here comes the Rupture, Sign's gonna come, he will walk up to left. Here comes oh, the Proto-Hit It is, 
Can Craig get a stun? No, he stuns the Zeus instead because he knows Fear isn't doing damage. Nicely done by Crit. Now they get the Zeus. S4 is going crazy with the K. Someone stop him. He's getting the four locos. Oh, he pops egg. Oh, the bash. Oh my God, the other bash. It won't be enough though. Now Fear's in a little bit of trouble. Fear wants to get Crit, but Carapace bait, easy kill. Dude, that was such a good chrono, but such a better job by Crit. He doesn't, he realizes, why would I stun the Void? He does nothing, I'll just stun the Zeus who does all the damage in the fight, and the Chrono's pretty much useless there, even though it's so good. That was a, that was like, good job by everyone. Good job by Crit, yeah. knowing that he has to stop the damage from the Chrono, stunning the Zeus is way more important than stunning the Void. Uh, yeah. good Chrono, getting two cores there. Uh... I am just really surprised that Snaking didn't have TB, because I clicked on him, or he didn't TB, because I clicked on him and he had it up the whole time. Uh, is a, I don't know if that was the right choice by not TPing. I think he could have cleaned up. And that's the, man, that's the, the Snake King Weaver, right? Because he goes his build, he, he doesn't do anything right now. Yeah. He just has regen. That's the problem, dude. Persis, uh-oh, let's see if Sumail can time it. He sure can, Sanchi. but, yep, gets the Sakuchi. Isn't it guaranteed you always can get Sakuchi off after Yules? Yeah. That's scary. S4 just killing off. He's going Radiant. You like the straight up BKB. No Yasha, no Sanjin Yasha, no Radiant. He goes BKB first. Yep. Uh, yeah, I saw that queued up. Uh, I'm okay with it. Blade Mail would have been good to this game for Zeus and all, but I'm totally fine with just a uh, BKB. They have Terrorblade and Lina, right? Like, these two heroes scale just fine. He just needs to get in there and be able to fight. He doesn't want, you don't want like three people farming. Right? You want someone trying to be proactive. Like, I mean, that's what we saw last game, right? It was limp and the two supports being proactive. This game will be on EG, the supports, and S4. But he's fine with just farming, too. He knows he can go push out a lane, BKB, and TP away, and nothing can stop him. Yeah, so a chrono, chrono, but, chrono. Uh, you know, that's a big cooldown. He doesn't always have it up, so. So, you, I mean, EG, this this feels like the EG we saw a little bit of TI. They, they kind of win their lanes, and then they, they don't give up. They like the farm, right? They just farm all three lanes. They continue, they'll push towers, they'll get runes together, but they just play together once they lead. And uh-oh, Sentry Ward down, and this young man is in a lot of trouble. Doing it up, goes down. The way EG plays is like, they always kind of play the same, right? They're always kind of like farming in a lot of areas, but when they have the lead, it's so much easier to like be aggressive with farming, right? Because they're just scared, and they obviously don't have the lead, so they don't have as many items. So, uh, what they're doing right now is just really good. RTZ is, hasn't shown up to like, any fight. He's just been AFP farming this whole time. As for the BKB bottom, he's just, he, this BKB just lets him play like this, right? Oh, it's 4v1. Yep. And well, Eternal Envy will go down now. Well, maybe. They're scared. Fear does have ulti, but crit. The big level two ultimate hit gets him. And now oh, this egg nice. is gonna go up. Bloodseeker should die here. He will get frozen for a little bit, but crit and Bloodseeker until he does get it off and neither have died. Oh, but the Zeus Bolt misses S4! Will go down to an Arc Lightning. They try to run away, Crit. He's on fire, but he gets out of there. Gets off the dance floor, and... Well, we, we see. I mean, a Chrono can really change it. Chrono plus Egg. They just... They don't have the damage yet, right? That's... Snake King needs to get his first item and just come to team fight. He gets ah, something bad. Snake King! Ooh. Come on. Come on, the king. Come on, king. That's, that's just, two fights in a row where he's not showed up, and then... Uh... And then he dies after. Yeah. That's right, and now look at this, Roche. I mean, it's it's a... Without having any minus armor stuff, it's a very quick Roche with a, a lean and a Terrorblade. Aetherlens bot, though, this... Okay, whoa, hey! Whoa, yo, Fly, Aetherlens in there. So is Fly, apparently he has a Glimmer, though, but they do have the Sentry. Stun will miss. Oh, Yule's there. Yo, he's in a bad spot. Lina is in a really bad place, it feels like. Carapace will stun the over back. the oh, oh, no, he ults. He's in oh, Can't get frame down. They do crit. He gets him. Crit's gonna die, but you think he cares? Oh, uh, the ult on thinks this should be a kill. It will be. Stun hits on two. Sumail is styling. Sumail and Fly just styled on the entire team right there. He finds Limp, but Limp can do damage. Be careful, Sumail. Won't matter. Hits a raw stun, and Sumail... Sumail just showed him why he's the best player in the world. Beautiful Dota. Beautiful Dota, Grand Grand. That just... Oh, my goodness. I, I thought Sumail was in such a bad position in that river. 
And then he just, the, the carapace, because the ignite was on Ogre, and Ogre was about to stun Lina and just kill her. But the carapace by crit saves him and then fly. Huge ultimate gets the solo kill that we talked about and then sets up for a double. Mason, this is the EG you expected to show up, right? Oh yeah, I mean, Sumail's on a hero that you can actually play Dota with, right? Like, he can stun, he's got... He can do well in his lane. He's definitely, he's 707. He's playing very well. He's baller stay. Whoa, whoa, what about the item though? I, I just noticed it, sorry, the blink. You, instead of Shadow Blade, is it because they already have so many sentries, the Nyx, or? Yeah, they have, uh, they have, they have Zeus as well. Can like uh, sniff him out a bit. Also, if he, like Sumail is so mechanically skilled, I bet he's thinking to himself like, I see this void jump on me, I can blink out of Chrono. I bet he actually thinks that to himself, so it's another reason. And he probably can, right? Yeah. And though the one guy we we know is gonna eventually carry this game if it makes that point terribly. Yeah, he's just been AFK farm, he's literally just doing his own thing and he's very that. farm. With strength treads, he has about 1,900 life and a BKB and he just he doesn't have to cut that's the best part, right? He's like, I can keep farming, thanks team. Yeah, uh, every carry player loves this. Their, their team is playing super well, and all he has to do is make sure he doesn't like mess up, right? Just keep farming, get your get your core items up, and then you're good to go. Red bottom. This guy's farmed. Earn and a full pipe of insight on the next. At 24 minute, what? Yeah, he's That's a lot of good. items. Thank God he's not going the Meteor Hammer build he used to do, because that thing is garbage. It's really bad. I actually, I'm so glad. I remember when I, I was the biggest hater of it, and people were like, no, nah, it might be. It was never good. Never one. Don't even say you're going to No, it's always bad. And that's facts. That's facts. I agree. That item is garbage, for sure. I don't even care if Thompson does it on his smoker. It's still... Yeah, I mean, it is. Still two for two rune exchange. Barteezy, he will find the safe lane tier two now. He is going blink next instead of Manto. Would you do the same? Maybe. But I, don't, I wouldn't do the same, but I can I can see it's useful in this way. Getting on top of the Zeus. Dodging player. I mean, and you said he's the smartest player you know, so he should be able to. Yeah, this guy does a polygon training or whatever that minigame is. I don't know if you ever seen that. Yeah, no, I clicking mini game. He's got his clicking ready. I remember too. They used to play. Uh, you did you play hardcore ninja? Yeah, a little bit. I played with them. Uh, yeah, we used to play it to crit. up sometime. Ooh, crit bottom or top. Sorry, has a lot of trouble, but they don't have the vision now. They do. TP coming from S4. He has the pipe. You're not doing damage, man. Here comes the the egg is out though. This shit's on. I don't think they can kill this egg. S4 can go for it. He just gets past the lock. Oh, oh no. My. It slices. That's a level three Laguna. And look at that. He just gets healed. Carapace stops him mid dive. See you later, Phoenix. Sumail gets it now. Eternal Envy. Run, Eternal Envy. Please do it for the anime. But he can't. Brought down, stunned, nuked. Finish him off, boys. They get him. And EG looks to tie us up 1 1. And it's not over, but a 17k lead at 26 minutes is bad. That's. That seems to be how Dota's been going lately, right? It feels like one game, I mean, game one, complexity stomped. Game two, EG stomps. Game three, what happens, Mason? What's the yeah. line? I I actually don't know. Every game is so random, it feels, because these teams are just, like, feeling out the patch too, right? Like, this patch is relatively new. Like, they're still discovering what heroes work for them. So... You know, uh... I think we both agree, Void this game really hasn't done much of anything. Uh, he's had some good chronos, but he has no he has no damage, right? He has no items. Lost his lane. He you need completely relies boosters. on his teammates. Yeah, he completely relies on his teammates. And they're not farming. Like, look at the net worth charts. You see... Terrible... Ooh, sorry, wait. Eternal Envy's dead again. The top three are radiant, and it's not a small margin. Like, the, the no. biggest, it's Bloodseeker's a thousand above, and then you just have Sumail and Arteezy. They're, they're in the Space Force with Donald Trump right now. Dying What's a Space Force? <laughs> it's a meme. It, it's Sorry, just, I don't, I'm not cool it, enough it's to, bad. to understand. No, no, it's literally Dying Donald Trump said he doesn't need NASA and stuff because he'll make his own Space Force. It, it was pretty bad. And funny. Donald Trump's hilarious. I, he... Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to talk about I don't really, I find, yeah, I just, I, 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 I find him humorous. I agree, that's all we'll say, he's funny. No matter whether you like him, you don't like him, 
He's a very humorous man, right? Yeah, he is a humorous man. Terrorblade just gets the Blink Dagger now. Snake King, he's still just farming. Level 17, almost 18. I mean, he doesn't do anything. Even if he comes to fights, does... Like, he, he throws bugs, right? That's his big thing right now. He doesn't even have a Maelstrom yet. Yeah, he literally does nothing. This damage... This damage is puny. Um, Preds, Lincolns, you, do, you don't do damage, so... Look, a Eternal Envy! Dude, he, he smoked up to go ward, but he saw the chicken instead. Kills the chicken. Now he's gonna try to get a deep ward. Is he? I don't know what he's doing, yeah, actually. most likely. He's chillin', yes. He's chillin' like a villain? Straight boss hog outlaw like Slim Thug? Ooh, he bolts. Oh, wait, he finds him! Hello! Now, Sumail gets killed on Z Freak, but I'm watching this Eternal Envy vs. Fly matchup. Obviously, he doesn't even have a TP, but he can't TP, and he's just, he knows he's dead. He's actually just gonna try to cut the creep wave. Can he even do that? Got I one. wish. Got one. Burns, well, doesn't it? Sumail's beyond. I guess Eternal Envy's going with the thing. If we give him enough gold and farm, then Fear can get the kill, and he'll get a lot of gold. I mean, it's not. Don't tell me that's. Uh, I don't know what it is. Why does Bloodstone yeah, have a, a Hyperstone? I know he's going for Mjolnir, but do you ever go Hyperstone before Maelstrom? I've never seen that. Uh, I mean, you know, he does have Thirst, so this is some effective damage right here, right? Like, attack speed increases your damage by Bloodseeker more than. Maybe he's got some sick theory crafting going on. AY2000 yeah. Junior. Yep. And, well. If they win this series and Forward Gaming wins theirs, they'll, they'll get a rematch because Owie is coaching Forward Gaming. Bulba coaching EG. Is there? They don't have a coach for Cole yet. Yeah, they said they, they want one, but they haven't found one yet. Mason, right. what about you? Time. No, Mason, it's, it's your time. time. No, no, Mason, it's your time, baby. You and Eternal Envy. Like, you Two know how a witch, minds. yeah, concocts in her cauldron? That, you and, oh my goodness, you and E.E. E. would be the best witch of all time. Yeah, we'd be wizards, because witches are females, but I agree. Yeah, but wizards don't, I guess they, you don't see them stirring cauldrons as much. Uh, Fly gets a kill on Snake King. Sumail with the BKB elves get the kill. And now it's a male, you like the maelstrom from Lena. Sometimes you see, like, Daedalus straight up damage. Do you like the lightning more? Uh... I think any. Whoa, is this normal? People go spell amp on Lena over this, the fiery soul stacks? No, he's just. Oh, maybe that's just, why he's going maelstrom. Just then. memeing on him. Yes, I mean that's. I mean the regime. fiery soul stacks has to do more damage, like for right clicks, like even if you have a oh. maelstrom. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. But well, uh, you know what? We, I bet we mean you can get him for an interview after the series if they win. You don't want to get an interview after they lost. That's probably a bad idea. I mean, that's yo. what they did at TI and everyone loved it, so maybe we should do that. Yeah, but I- Yo, Sumail, what's up? You just got- You worked! Uh, how are you feeling, though? <laughs> I, I couldn't do that. I could never do- That was the one job I don't think I could do, losers interviews. It's, it's just awkward, right? For everyone. Because... Uh, I don't know about awkward, but, you know, I could do it, Green Grant. I don't have a soul, so it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. It was funny, it was weird, like, the only- it was kind of strange that the NA captains were the only ones that weren't right, because like some of the other ones were like super sad, and then, like Peter and SVG, whatever, there's next year, who gives a shit? I was like, oh, alright. Some That's... boss hog attitude. It really is. Did you cry after you lost the TI4? Hell no. Be on Mason, TI4. be honest. Mason, crying push. crying is fine. You know the last yeah. the what's the most you ever cried? Besides my grandma dying, it was uh the green mile. That shit was too much for me. Uh, I don't know. Toy Story I, 2 and Toy Story 3 were sad. I watched some anime movie, uh, Your oh, Name or something, oh, and I cried like five different times reading the movie. Think Eternal Envy's seen that and cried too? Oh yeah, he's definitely seen it. I don't know if he cried or not. I mean, if you did, I bet he did. Eternal Envy is kind of a baller though, right? He like dunked a monster on Hani's head that one time. <laughs> I forgot about that. just how mad he actually. I can't believe he did that like on live stream. Yeah, he's, like he just it was like, an actual event. <laughs> dude, I remember his face like from that, just that video. He's just so mad. He's like, yeah, ooh, middle, slammed it on him. 
Will he get his ulti out before the silent? No, because Slicer... The oh, he has a full... He doesn't even have a male, so he just has a full Mjolnir. All right. Lena is... Lena is ready to go. Level 25, so do you take... Oh, you just take the attack range. Like, Why are her level 25 talents so bad? Lena's. Lena's. I mean, the attack range is good, but you're never going to hit the Dragon Slave cooldown. Even if you go, like, Bloodstone. being this bad. It's because the Fiery Soul is at 25, right? Yeah, yeah, it used to be way... It was, like, more, it was like 30 for 3% or so. It was ridiculous, yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised this game's still going like this. I mean, granted, they have Zeus, Void, and everything. And, well, they're going to find a kill here. from oh. the corner of the Silent Tip! And Veer has to BKB finally <laughs> enough. But Arteezy, with that range, is working him on that Scotty Z freak down. Veer, oh, Snake can kill your teammate. We don't have to do it. And now they do, but in the air he goes. Arteezy kills Eternal Envy as well. Snake Ultis tries to get out. Laguna Slice, and this game is looking real bad. Is it... I... They're, they're gonna play on though. That that felt that that's one of those fights. It's like we just use they don't have chrono, right? That's the biggest thing. You may have another chance to defend, but it's without chrono. Rupture hits. It's on to Zeus. He yules himself, dodges the silence nicely done there, but it won't matter. Stunned by crit. They're gonna go all oh, egg bird. It's gonna go down as well. They go for Arteezy, but he doesn't bull drag guy. He actually goes on crit instead. Hits him with that Sunder. There's the kill. There's the GG. And damn, this. Pretty much two identical games, but they go in favor of a different team. That they do, Grand Grant, that they do. I mean, well, what can we learn in this series? Not just from this game. So